In this video, we'll take a look at creating and managing breakout rooms in Adobe Connect. Breakout rooms will take on the look and the feel of your active layout when you first create them. So I'm going to choose a different layout that I've designed specifically for my breakouts. It's important to note though that while all of my breakout rooms will initially look identical because they're all based on my active layout, they are also persistent, just like my room is persistent. And that means I can go into each breakout room and modify it, change the pods that are available, create brand new layouts, different exercises and different activities in each of my different breakout rooms so that I can rotate teams through the different breakout rooms. That's important to note. To access my breakout rooms, I'm going to use the attendees pod, and I'm going to change to the breakout room view. This shows me a list of all of the attendees that are currently all in my main room and assigned to my main room, as well as a few different breakouts that I've got available to me. I can add up to 20 different breakout rooms simply by clicking on this plus button and adding additional breakout rooms. I can choose to remove a room by clicking on the X beside the name of the room itself. And I'm also able to change the name of each of my breakout rooms. This particular room is set up for training managers on coming back to work after the COVID-19 break. So let's go ahead and name each of these appropriately. Once I've got my breakouts named as I'd like, I can start assigning people to individual breakouts. I can do that in a couple of different ways. I can drag and drop an individual to a specific breakout room. I can select multiple individuals by clicking on the checkbox beside their name and dragging those individuals to a specific breakout. Or I can have Adobe Connect automatically evenly distribute everybody from the main room into the different breakouts. And that will evenly distribute everybody. Adobe Connect also enables me to rotate individuals through the different breakouts. This can ensure that everybody gets a chance to complete each activity in each of the different breakout rooms. Now I can see that people have been assigned to the different breakouts, but those individuals are not yet in those breakout rooms because we haven't started the breakouts yet. If I want to begin the breakouts, I'll click on this start breakouts button. And I've now started the breakouts. So I can see that the breakout session has started. These individuals are now in each of the different breakout rooms. And as the host, I'm still in the main room. Now I can go and visit each of these breakout rooms simply by dragging and dropping my name into a specific breakout room. And I can see what activities the individuals in this breakout room are getting up to. It's important to note that as we begin the breakouts, our participants have been given enhanced rights. They are still participants. If we go back and look at the list view, I can see that the two individuals in this breakout room, which is sanitizing the workspace, are still listed as participants, but they've been given enhanced rights. So they're able to do things like use their microphone, use their webcam, use the annotation tools on this image or share their screen. Essentially, they can do virtually everything that a presenter in the room could do. So they can't change layouts, they can't end the breakouts themselves, but they can share information. They can take notes in a notepad or use their microphone or camera. Let's go back to this breakout room view so that we can take a look at all of our breakouts. And I can continue as the host to move from one breakout room to another. I can also, as a host, choose to broadcast a message to everybody in the breakouts. So for example, if we're wrapping up in five minutes, I can send that as a message to everybody in all of the rooms. Those individuals can also reply, and I'll see any replies come back as part of a notification as a host. Once I'm ready to end the breakout. So I can click on the end breakout button here in the attendees pod or from the breakouts menu at the top, choose end breakouts.
That will bring everybody back into the main room, but they'll still be assigned to their individual breakouts. That means if we want to go back and forth from the main room into the different breakouts, I don't have to remember who was with which breakout. Adobe Connect will take care of keeping all of that in memory. Although again, I've got the ability to rotate these teams from one breakout room to the next if I'd like. That's a quick look at creating and managing breakouts in Adobe Connect. We'll have another video on how to review content from the breakouts when you're back in the main room. Thanks for your time.